hey guys this is your girl alicia pink and welcome back to my channel but if you are new here welcome to my channel so this is for my virgo babies so we're going to get started but first before i even start i want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers um and to the people that actually watch my videos and like my videos i am truly truly grateful this is the little channel that could and i am just so appreciative and thank you so we're going to start this reading off with three deep breaths so let's get started breathe in breathe out breathe in Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. Let's clear this energy. Let's clear this space. And while I do that, I am welcoming my angels, my guides, my ancestors for an accurate message and accurate reading for Virgo. I just want to let you guys know that this is a general reading, so it might or might not resonate with you, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? So let's get started. We're going to start with some um, oracle decks, some oracle cards for my Virgo, Virgo babies, all right? Virgo. Okay, so got personal issue reaches a resolution. Um, that's full moon and cancer, and then we have step out of your comfort zone, Virgo. That's the north node, and then we have have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Okay. So we started off with spirit wanting you to um you know, have faith, you know, whatever issues you're going through right now, whatever personal issue you're going through is going to be resolved. Also, step out of your comfort zone. You know how Virgos, you know how you guys are. You're perfectionists. You know, y'all like things one way <laughs> and that's it. But spirit is like, okay, we need you to step out of your comfort zone, okay? Just a little bit, just a tiny little bit. All right, let's see what else is going on. And then you got Castle. It's time for healing, not war. And then you have Sword. Make the change. Okay. So I have a feeling that Spirit wants you to um, make some changes. Okay. Make some powerful changes. I believe some powerful changes is most definitely coming your way, Virgo. And then you have expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. Period. Period, point blank. You know, so, Virgo. That's your beginner message. What Spirit wants you to um do i'm gonna leave this right here because i feel like that's the overall message have faith in your dreams so we're going to um do some tarot cards and see what is the energy and what spirit wants you to know what spirit wants you to know Okay, what's going on with my Virgos? Okay, you got the Devil card. It's the first thing that came out. The Page of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Tower card, ooh child, and the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, back of the deck energy is the Four of the Four of Swords. So I feel like Spirit most definitely wants you to have some rest, take a break, because you know how you guys are, Virgo. You are <laughs> you like to go, go, go. You work until you're 
your toes bleed. That's just how you guys are. You know, also you got the devil card and the tower card right underneath it. So I feel like you are battling some inner demons right now. Um, you have hit rock bottom, but there is light at the end of the tunnel with this page of swords and also with this queen of wands and this king of pentacles and also with this knight of pentacles. There is abundance coming your way. This is all a life lesson. Life is, life is a big, um, school. We are always constantly learning, always constantly growing, you know, so, and that's exactly how you are. You like to do your research. You like to um, know what you're doing and you are and know your craft and know it well. And maybe that is causing you to go into a down spiral. I think spirit wants you to relax, wants you to take a break um, and not over, you know, exaggerate, not over... Um, you know, overwork yourself, you know, step step out of your comfort zone. Okay, that's exactly what spirit wants you to do. All right, let's get some more cards. All righty. Like my thing is just all messed up right now. Okay. So, sir, what else do you want Virgos to do now and need to know what do they need to do? What's going on with my Virgo babies? Alrighty. So, you got the five of coins. You also got the eight of swords. So, I really feel like Virgos, the Virgos that I'm talking to right now, that resonating with this right now. You're going through a tough time. Probably some financial woes. Probably going through a depression. But you also got the Wheel of Fortune card that came out as well. And that is basically confirming to have faith in your dreams. The luck is most definitely on your side. And, you know, don't give up. Don't give up. Have hope. Have faith. Let's see what else energy surrounding you where it goes okay you got the seven of coins you also got the temperance card so yeah spirit most definitely wants you to um create some balance and some structure in your life um right now you know, because right now you're probably feeling overworked. You're probably working extremely hard. And it's probably taking a toll on your personal life, taking a toll on your health, probably taking just a big toll on you. And spirit is like, okay, look, I know you want things the way you want them. You like things the way you like them. But I'm going to need you to take five steps back. And I'm going to need you to take a break because if you don't, that devil and that tower card that you recently got is going to come in fruition. The five of coins is, you know, it's going to come. I'm sorry about the um, noise in the background. But, the you know, the um, thing is going to come into fruition with the eight of swords cards. You probably feel like, oh my God, like, what is going on? trapped in your head overthinking certain situations okay but you you have hope with this this little fortune this temperance card you most definitely have hope um have faith in your dreams as well let's see some more what else spirit wants to tell you Okay, what does Virgo need to see here? You got the world card. Also got the the knight and the king. 
Okay, what else does Virgo need to hear? Okay, I think Spirit most definitely wants you to get more on your creative side. Express yourself create creatively. Um, have some more fun. Let loose. Okay, stop being such a, uh, what you call it, a, so serious. Stop being so serious. If you need to, spend some time alone and ground yourself. I think that's probably a nice way to get back back on balance. Um, spend some time in nature. Okay. Uh, spend some time in nature. Get more creative. Create some. Find a way that you can create peace in your life. More peace in your life. Get more creative. Express your creative side. You know, stop being so freaking serious. Have some fun. And your three of cups don't always have to be like going out with your friends and things. Your three of cups could be at home by yourself, um, grounding yourself, meditating, um, reading a good book, you know, drinking a nice cup of coffee or tea, you know, or spending some time in nature, you know, um, getting your, your feet in the grass, hugging a tree, something like that, you know. That's what spirit wants you to do. Wants you to ground yourself, not take yourself so seriously, Virgo. Okay, let's get some more. Let's see what else spirit wants you to know. Okay, what else does spirit wants Virgo to know? You got the page of cups, the page of swords, the knight of cups, got the higher fence, the ten of cups. Get like two more cards. Okay. So Spirit wants to let you know. Mm, so you got the um the hierophant as well as the two of cups right underneath there. Maybe Spirit wants you to focus more on your love life as well. Okay. Spirit probably wants you to focus more on your love life. Um, it, um get more connected with your partner. And like I said, get more creative. So, and this is the she's look like she's drawing. She's drawing. Well, she is drawing a pentacle, so she's painting. So this is you sitting and painting and just um, focusing more on your creative side and your creative ability. Um, you know, go out and get some art supplies, some paint, and just express yourself. You know, beautifully. Also, you have the the Knight of Cups. You know, get more in tune with your emotions. This is you in the future, happy, excited. The Page of Swords. If you hear screaming in the background like kids, I don't have any kids. Those are my neighbors, by the way. <laughs> but um, Page of Swords. So yeah, like try something new. You know, um, this is probably new for you because. You probably don't express yourself um, artsy type at all. You probably don't do that. You are probably one way traditional, traditional um, type of way. You are always learning, always studying, always trying to be perfect at what at your craft. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but you know, like I said before. Spirit wants you to step out of your comfort zone. Spirit wants you to express yourself differently. Um, like either that be drawing, art, journaling, having fun, doing something that 
is out of your your comfort zone try something new trying something new okay so let's see what affirmation spirit has for you let's see what affirmation spirit has for you Alrighty, this came out. Okay, love, gratitude. Okay. Let's see what else Spirit has for you. Alright, this just popped right out. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty. So you got in any moment I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. And then you have I witnessed the darkness and called on the light. With my prayer, thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. And then you have love. Love is many splendored things. Today, I will notice and appreciate at least three of those splendors, like the fact that puppies make me feel like a parent or the surge of self-congratulation. I feel when I sink a three-point trash basket shot on the first try or how about the chills I get while singing along to your favorite song, okay? And then you have gratitude. Today, I am grateful for all of the little things, even when the big things suck. There are always plenty of little things I can be at least a little grateful for, like hot showers and music and the fact that humans invented an internet. And I'm allowed to use it whenever I want to, using fingers and thumbs that do whatever I think them to do at any given moment. And then you have, don't take it personally. If someone starts to speak unkindly to me, I'll remember that they have got something going on that has nothing to do with me. Like maybe they just pooped in their pants. Yes, that's probably it. <laughs> so Virgo, that is um, your message. That's what Spirit wants to let you know. You know, overall energy is have faith in your dreams, okay? And also to... Um, a personal issue reaches a resolution and step out of your comfort zone. So your personal issue is probably that you need to be more creative, express yourself more in a different light instead of being so serious. Work, 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 work all the time. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to relax. It's okay to express yourself differently. And that's what Spirit wants to let you know. Okay, and I hope you like this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And thank you guys. I will catch you next video. Bye.